Uh, hello guys and welcome to the final part uh, of the uh, login screen UI design uh, from Adobe XD to Android Studio. In this final video we are going to implement this login screen design into Android Studio. So open up uh, the existing project and we are going to create a new activity. It will be uh, an empty activity. And uh, we are going to name it uh, simply login activity. Click finish and then uh, head over to uh, main activity layout and uh, we're going to change the ID of uh, our button to let's say uh, login BTN and we're going to use uh, that existing uh, button ID to initialize a button in our main activity and uh, in onCreate method we are going to find the ID of uh, our button and uh, associate it with uh, our login button variable and next we are going to use that uh, button to set a click listener and we are going to use uh, intent to navigate uh, uh, from main activity to uh, login activity so just type intent and new intent and we're going to pass two parameters first parameter is a main activity dot this and the second uh, uh, is a login activity dot class and just uh, type start activity and pass intent parameter inside and that's it uh, so now that we have our uh, on click listener we can uh, proceed back to our activity login xml file so we're going to add two input fields, one for email and the second for password, like that. And we're uh, going to connect uh, those constraints, uh, right, left, top and bottom. We're going to connect uh, our first input to the second. And we don't need to connect the second uh, to the first, because as you can see when we move, move it around, it, uh, both of them are moving. So let's connect uh, left, right and bottom for the second. Okay, let's move the other. And just a little bit higher. Okay. Uh, next, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, go to drawable and create drawable resource file, which will name the input uh, field so uh, type shape and uh, shape rectangle attribute here we're going to add three elements uh, first is solid for color and we need to uh, use the light gray color as you can see we have added here gray color with opacity of 10 but uh, it will be easier for us just to uh, print screen like this save the file and then import uh, that uh, image and uh, now that we have imported that image we can uh, just uh, pick the color from it and we will have the exact hash code like there so we're going to uh, paste this light gray color in our uh, color xml uh, file we'll name it light gray okay and now uh, we can Go back to our input field xml file and uh, add light gray color okay the second uh, item will be sol uh, will be corners uh, with a radius of 50 let's say and the third uh, will be for uh, padding we'll just add the uh, padding left to let's say 25 or 20 but let's say 25 sp okay and now that we have created our input field, we can uh, use a background attribute on our edit texts to import that uh, input field. But before that, let's add a hint here. And let's say email address. Let's add text color hint to um, gray for now. Color gray down below. All right. And now let's use the background and the uh, drawable input field XML file. Okay, now we need to change the width and height uh, and height of our uh, 
input field so width will be 300 and uh, height let's say 50 okay for now let's stay this way and we are going to uh, do that the same for the second field 300 dp and uh, height 50 uh, we'll copy these three lines of code so we don't need to type we'll just change email address to password for our second field and uh, let's see okay now we, we have those two fields but I think we can uh, increase uh, the width from 300 to 310 and do the same for the second input as well all right so now that we have that uh, we can uh, add a button I will use the same uh, drawable file for a button uh, which we created uh, in last tutorial in last video uh, so okay now we can uh, uh, add the background the drawable uh, button as you know from the previous video text to login and uh, text all caps to false okay we need to uh, add text color to white and let's check out on our main activity uh, layout to copy uh, some lines to our uh, button okay just delete that one and there we go now we just need to copy uh, width and height of our button from the first activity we'll use the same dimensions like that okay Now let's move this uh, a little bit on the right, so it's aligned with our uh, input fields. Top constraint will be 24 for now, maybe we'll switch to 32, we'll see. Uh, next we're going to add a text view here, <coughs> sorry, uh, the text view. Uh, this will be text view uh, for the text uh, need help. But first, let's connect all those constraints. Okay, something like that. Now let's uh, change it to need help. Let's change the color, text color to red. And let's add the text size to, let's say, 16 SP. Okay, now uh, let's see. Uh, okay, this text is 16. Uh, font is regular, so let's uh, use the font on our need help text to regular as well. All right, let's move it a little bit on the left. Uh, we should change the constraints. Okay, something like that for now. Uh, next what we need to do uh, to add one more text uh, We'll need two more text. Sorry Like uh, those on the first layout you are not a member one text and the second register so we are going to copy all those uh, Elements from the from those texts to be the same on the, our second screen uh, Let's just add here uh, Android studio is informing us that we need to add the uh, margin start as well so we need to set it 16 dp as well that's on the on the activity main xml don't worry and let's copy uh, those lines but first let's connect all those constraints right left top and bottom okay uh, let's add some lines we just copied before Let's delay those two we have already. Uh, and that's it for now. I will add one more text. And uh, we're going to connect uh, its left constraint to, uh, to our first text here. Ok, 
okay, and all those other constraints on the right and on the top with this second input field. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we need to copy a few attributes from the activity main layout for this register text and paste it here. So we don't need to type uh, anymore. Okay. Let's just change the need help text font from a regular to bold. It will be uh, much better, I think. Okay, it looks better. Uh, next, uh, let's uh, change this uh, left constraint of register. Maybe. Um, okay, let's change this to 60. Uh, okay. And uh, left uh, constraint to four for the register text like that, and it should be now for it should be okay for now. Uh, let's proceed next. Uh, we need to add uh, we need to add a text view again for a hello there text like that. All right, uh, let's add it one more time here the top of input and let's connect all those constraints right left top and bottom bottom will be uh, connected to our first input field email address and let's add a few attributes for this new text so text should be hello there uh, we'll add the text color to gray font to bold text size to um, Let's say for the SP. I think it should be fine. All right. Uh, let's just move this text a little bit on the right. Uh, down constraint will be 16, maybe for now. Okay. And the last thing we need to add is um, this arrow on the top left corner. Just a second. Um, let's move this. Uh, let's move all those elements on the down a little bit. Okay. Uh, and let's add constraint to eight. Next, uh, we are going to use this uh, resource, this back button, and we are going to export it. Um, in different sizes for Android so as you can see in those folders uh, we have one more uh, element we're going to copy all those folders in our project uh, project directory let's locate it first okay UI welcome application source main resources and let's paste all those folders and replace it so now we have our uh, back arrow in our project and let's import uh, that back image back arrow uh, we need to change width and height to let's say 30 i think the 30 will be fine okay it looks good so now let's all those, connect all those constraints i'm having a bit of trouble connecting those but don't worry uh, i will do it in a moment down constraint will be connected to hello there text uh, left okay all right uh, move it there and connect this uh, on the right constraint i'm having a little bit trouble but don't worry it will it will succeed Okay, let's move this uh, arrow a little bit to align it with the uh, hello there text, like that. So let's check out uh, our uh, Adobe XD project to see uh, the dimensions. Okay, now that we have that, 
we can check our um, Adobe XD project to see uh, the top and left margins for this arrow and uh, copy those numbers uh, here. So as you can see, top margin is 36 and the left margin is 28. So let's type in the constraints here 36 and the left 28. And it should be the same as in our project. And there you go. Uh, okay, let's start the app to see if everything looks okay. Okay, let's just wait, uh, wait until uh, Android Studio finishes uh, building the project. Okay, click uh, login and it will lead us uh, to our new activity. Uh, we just uh, messed up uh, those two text uh, views on the bottom. You are not member in the register. Uh, we'll fix that in a second. So head over to uh, login layout and uh, we'll set constraint to, uh, to 16 or to 8 and we'll move this first text uh, a little bit higher and now uh, let's change the image view for our back button uh, the ID will be um, login uh, okay let's just in our login activity add this image view we'll name it back button and let's find the ID of uh, our back button which will be back uh, btn and we'll set uh, on click listener as well here in the on create method and uh, let's just add uh, finish the finish code means that uh, this activity will shut down and it will lead us back to the first activity so let's try it out click login Okay, and we click uh, arrow, it will lead us back to our first activity. As you can see, it works fine. So, uh, we need to fix a few more things. I think that uh, we should lower down. Uh, let's... Okay, let's see, uh, side by side. Hmm, I think we should lower down uh, those uh, elements a little bit. They are too high. Okay. Uh, let's open that. Uh, let's use bold font for our login uh, text. Okay, and let's lower down our fields a little bit like that. Let's uh, run this app again. Click login, and uh, okay. I think we should. Uh, move a little bit those two text views on the bottom uh, they, they, uh, they should be a little bit higher so we'll change the down on or bottom constraints uh, a little bit and the left constraint as well as you can see on our first screen it's a little different so uh, let's add uh, 224 16 okay down 16 down 16 and uh, left, I think it should be 24 like that. Okay, I think we got it now this time. Run the app again. Click login. And there you go. I think uh, now it looks uh, way better. So that was it. Uh, we have successfully created uh, two screens from the, our Adobe XD design project. I hope you enjoyed and uh, learned a few things here. Uh, thank you for watching guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, see you in the next video.